Have you got a PST file full of emails and need to get them into Google Workspace? Let me tell you, you don't need to overcomplicate it. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to migrate emails from a PST file into Google Workspace account using a free tool from Google called GWMMO. It is quick, it is reliable, and the best of all, you don't need to be a PowerShell wizard to do it. My name is Carlos and I help small businesses all around the world with their Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace subscription. For more information, visit itwithcarlos.com. Now, before we jump into the demo, let me give you a quick overview of what GWMMO is. GWMMO stands for Google Workspace Migration for Microsoft Outlook. It is a free Windows-based tool from Google that helps you import emails, calendars event, and even contacts from an Outlook PST file directly into a Google Workspace user account. You don't need to run any scripts. You don't need an Exchange server. And it works great whether you are migrating a single user or helping on a small team make the switch. The only catch, it has to run on a Windows computer. But that's usually not a deal breaker for more small businesses. All right, let me tell you exactly how it works. Before running the migration, let's do a quick review on how to create a PST file. Actually, we're going to create a PST file that we will use to migrate using the GWMMO tool. To create a PST file, we need to do it within Outlook Classic. The new Outlook version doesn't allow you or export emails to a PST file. At least not yet. I was recently checking the roadmap of the new Outlook and it seems that that capability will be added to the new Outlook version in a few months this year. So for these demos, we are going to create a PST file for this demo account, carlos at itb.cloud. So within Outlook, we need to click on File, then open an export, then import an export. Here we need to select Export to a file. Then we click on Next. In this section, create a file of type. We need to select Outlook data file. PST. Then we click on Next. And here is where we select which account we are going to export the emails to a PST file. In this case, we are going to export the emails for Carlos at ITB.cloud. Actually, we are going to export not just the emails, but also calendars and contacts. We can be selective when we export the data. If we click here, which folder we want to export. In this case, we are going to export everything to a PST file for this account. So we need to click on Highlight on the top level, and then we click on Next. Next, we need to decide where the PST file will be saved, and we will be able to give a name to the PST file. In our case, we are calling the file carlos underscore itbe.pst. We will leave this option as is. Replace duplicates with items exported. Since we are going to create a brand new PST file, it doesn't matter what option we select here. So we click on Finish, and the export will start. Depending on how much data you have on the account that you are exporting, this could take a few minutes. In our case, the PST file has been created. We will go to the File Manager, and we can find here our PST file, which is called carlos underscore itv.pst. We are now ready to start the process of importing the emails from the PST file. The first step is to download the tool GWMMO from Google. We will open the browser and we can search GWMMO. The first result will take us to the place where we can download the tool. Here we have a Google Workspace migration for Microsoft Outlook. And we will have the option here, download the X file. In my case, I already downloaded and install the tool. Once you download and install the tool, you are ready to run it. To run this tool, you have to run it from a common prompt in Windows. So we can search for the common prompt. We can start typing command, and we have it here, common prompt. 
we click on it and it will open our common prompt window. From here, I suggest to go directly where the GW MMO tool is installed. I have this note here that reminds me where the tool is installed. It is within the C drive, program files, Google, and then Google Apps Migration. Then I will have to run this command clientmigration.exe space dash dash non enable underscore label underscore prefix. I will leave this information in the description of the video. So let's move to the location where the tool is installed. I will go to the common prompt. I will change the directory doing cd dot dot enter. Then I will go again to cd dot dot enter. It will take me back to the root directory. Then here I will go to cd space program files. Then I hit enter. Then I will change the directory again, cd space Google. And then one more time, I will change directory, change directory, space, Google space apps, space migration. Then I hit enter. This is the default location where the Google migration tool is installed. So here is where I will run the command line. So I just copy client migration.exe space dash dash no enable underscore label underscore prefix. Then I press enter. This pop up window will show, and this is to connect to my Google Workspace email account. I mean, the email account where I want to migrate the email data that is in the PST file. My email account in Google Workspace is also carlos at itv.cloud. Then I click on continue. Here I'm authorizing the connection to my Google Workspace account. So I click on continue. I scroll down. And by clicking allowed, I am giving permission to the migration tool to access my account. So I click on allowed. If I move this window a little bit, I can see here authorization has been granted successfully. So in this window, I need to select the name of the PST file. I select from PST file. I'm going to the location where the PST file has been saved. And I have it here, Carlos underscore ITB. So I select it, I click on open. Here I have the option to select migrate all data or migrate only new data. I'm going to select to migrate all data and then click on next. Also, I'm going to select to migrate calendars, contacts, and also the emails. Then I click on migrate. The migration process start and it is now in progress. As I can see here, it is moving contacts then we will go to calendars and emails. It is important to know that this tool is migrating the emails from the PST file to Google Workspace and the migration tool is running locally in my computer. So I need to keep running the computer for as long as the migration is in progress. The migration could take a while depending on how much data you have in the PST file. After a little while, Contacts and calendar has been migrated and email migration is in progress now. The migration is now complete. You can now access the Google Workspace account and you will find all your contacts, calendars and emails. We can just click on OK and the migration is concluded. No additional step is needed. And here we will see the logs and the stats of the information that was migrated. And just like that, you have moved your Outlook PST data to Google Workspace using GWMMO. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 tutorial and tips. And if you got any questions or need help with the migration project, drop a comment below or visit itwithcarlos.com to work directly with me.
Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. And remember, stay secure in the cloud and keep tech savvy.